Hello everyone, I'm a Shmeep. What's up dudes and dudes in the internet? My name's Scythe and I totally tricked you back again for another troll to troll. Patch notes. Ha ha. Hi, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful today, everybody. I hope this video makes that day even better. Call me the beard man or the sweaty suit guy because it's very nice weather right now. But because of it, it means that I'm kind of, you know, like, eh, oh, it's too hot. Anyways, yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so we've got a very short patch notes video today. Uh, it kind of added some good stuff while not necessarily adding some of the greatest stuff. Uh, but either way, for today, we're going to be giving away information rather than giving away mounts or anything like that. So if you would please, I would very much appreciate it for you to haduke in the like button for me. It helps me out more than you know. And without further ado, weekly swaps, the Dancy Chaos Edition. Okay, Chaos Chests now have contained the uh, Kami of the Forlorn Forest, which is, where is it? This thing, this thing is actually a great mount. It's very, very beautiful. Oh, there it is. Okay, I wasn't about to sneeze. It's a big, beautiful, giant mount that needed to be in the game a million zillion years ago. Uh, this was actually created like a really long time ago by a modder and then only got into the game like a couple months ago as far as I think. Anyways, I don't know. Dance Pad. This awesome and musical mag rider is on sale for 50% off. Okay, Chaos Week. For this week only, get two Chaos Chests for each piece of, or each point of Chaos Factor that you have. So, I have eight, meaning I'm gonna get 20 zillion of that. Battle Arena. Battle Arenas have been changed. Three maps have been rotated out for three new maps, which are made by X people. You can check the patch notes yourself in the link in the description. But needless to say, for some strange reason, our Team Pixel Kitchen map isn't actually in rotation. Uh, the devs actually contacted me like months ago, asking me to change a couple things with the map and then said it would go into rotation. Hasn't yet, so I don't know if they're just saving it or what, but either way, I thought it was gonna show up. And now we're already onto the missed changes. Fixed a boat-related crash. Okay, whatever. This one's actually the biggest thing that comes with this patch, which I very much like, and I've said since day one should have been how the uh, adventure boxes were implemented in the first place. So the way that works now is while you're out adventuring and fighting stuff, you can get every type of adventure box instead of just one. So it kind of shows that they're slacking a little bit if they're gonna resort to doing something like that. It's very nice that they finally did it because they should have had it like that since day one, honestly. I, I remember like way back then I was all about saying, Dude, the adventure boxes should just drop from everything. And as they end up adding new ones, they might have like a week or two uh, where it's only the new adventure mount and then it'll go back to the normal everything and have the new one in rotation or something like that. But, 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 this is a little bit strange. They actually nerfed the drop rates of adventure boxes. Doesn't make sense to me because as you ended up, uh, like as they ended up giving us more adventure boxes, that means the chances of getting a specific adventure box mount is lessened. So a nerf on top of already having worse odds to actually get a specific mount is kind of like, I don't know, now it's just kind of random, but at least hopefully it means that the adventure mounts in the market should be able to come down a bit and makes it a little bit more accessible for new players, which is great. They also finally added a magic find stat uh, to the extra life dragons. However, this is something that's a little bit strange they don't actually have them in the badge section anymore. I guess the devs just don't care. Uh, but over in the mount section, you can actually see there is, uh, I finally got this one just because finally it has magic find, right? And I have a couple extra dragon coins in case I get a primordial egg, which I very much doubt. But either way, now it actually just says that it gives 50 more magic find. So I think the top magic find right now is, does this guy give to magic find? No. I think the top magic find, if you have an ally, is close to 900? Maybe? I, I haven't actually tested it if it actually makes, like, better drop rates and stuff like that and kind of compensates for the lack of. Uh, but uh, anyways, those new dragons should be coming in anytime soon, but who actually knows? Then there is also removed the double stats granted for having the uh, Chinese New Year dragon, which they mentioned last week, but I guess they didn't actually patch it, so now they did. Then there is Hearts of Darkness burning a hole in your soul. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so 
You remember the lampooning sheep? Or, or shmeep? That's what this guy is right here. He's got like quadruple horns. I heard you like horns, so I put horns on your horns. That's pretty much what this sheep is, right? And he's beautiful. He's kind of like the fan favorite. Everybody actually likes this shmeep the most. However, nobody knew how you actually got them. And then I ta contacted one of the devs and they actually said, Oh yeah, we kind of made a little bit of a mess up by uh, putting it in the shmeep section because we were going to wait a little bit before we put it in game because we were going to do something special with it. I guess they never found anything special to do with it because now suddenly it's a craftable mount and that's it and it costs uh, hearts of darkness and stuff like that so you just come to the adventurers crafting table uh, then there is just the mounts and there is the lampooning shmeep right here which is four hearts of darkness a shmeep itself which I don't have that's why I'm never gonna have this mount because especially shmeeps are like so expensive right now because everyone's trying to capitalize on this but either way you know it's cool that they're actually finally in game and easily attainable for everybody I just find it a little bit lazy that they kind of opted out of whatever original plan they were going to do with it and now it's like oh it's craftable and it's like why wasn't it craftable since day one uh now this one's a little bit weird the star bar uh, you know when you log in you complete the star bar you end up getting your daily dose of cubits which you can then use in the store right here now they've changed it so you have to go to the claims menu in order to claim your cubits yeah what's next collecting glim from fishing in the claim menu or collecting shadow items you find on the ground from the claims menu like it's just the claims window is getting a little bit out of hand and is going a little bit too backwards for my taste and for everybody's taste for uh, from what i've heard from feedback and stuff like that but whatever oh well uh fixed a bug that could cause credits or cubits to be deducted despite canceling a purchase I'm surprised that they even had a bug like that around as long as they did. Like, seriously, that's a big one. Added some footsteps and or jump sound effects to the iguana and lizard mounts, the cameo mount that's in the chaos chest right now, the fl frost and heck bug mounts, which who cares anyways? It's just sound effects, which it's not like we all hear them anyway. Uh, then just as side patch note stuff, I just want to mention that all of the game breaking bugs that they added in last week's patch, unfortunately, none of them have been fixed. However, there was quite a few other bugs that I didn't really mention in last week's patch just because, uh, you know, I was kind of discovering them throughout the week. But one that's very important is there was a bug with uh, Shadow Coliseums where you couldn't complete them because it would spawn uh, all of the golems outside of the arena and stuff like that. That one's actually been fixed. However, the uh, text like in the game chat still comes out of the game window. Uh, I haven't tested yet, but I think combat numbers is still broken. Uh, and just in general, they didn't really mention and doesn't, didn't seem to fix any of the big bugs that were going around but either way that's it so thanks for watching everybody um i guess i better go and see what you all voted on for last week's patch all right so six percent of you say it was bad 34 percent of you say it was good and 59 percent of you say it was meh just kind of in the middle which generally speaking it seems like everybody just kind of feels like meh uh, you know like I, I don't know what they're doing over there like the devs and stuff like that kind of feels like they're on vacation lately doesn't it i mean hopefully it means that there's gonna be a whole slew of new content coming but the fact that they already showed like there, there's a bunch of new dragons if you don't already know and keep uh tabs with the devs and stuff there's a ton of new dragons that they've been talking about for a couple like weeks now if not an entire month has gone by without them actually adding it into the game so this is just a theory that i have again size theory moments where i think what they're gonna do is once they end up adding these new dragons hopefully soon maybe next week or the week after hopefully anyway way uh then i think after this one they're gonna start working on the new dinosaur class and apparently they're supposed to have a new dinosaur biome coming with him so that's very exciting maybe that's where they're spending all of their time who knows but either way thanks for watching everybody you can click on the uh card i was gonna say annotation top top right hand corner never mind of your screen i don't know why I, see i'm pointing top left but it's actually the top right yeah. So in the top right hand corner, you can vote whether or not you think this patch is good, bad, or the ugly. And either way, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sign on and stay epic. Have a fantastic week.